Welcome YouTube world. We're going to work on the mower today. The self-propelled is out. I'll go ahead and get you the model number so you can see which one I'm dealing with. Make it a little safer. There's a kind of a thing I normally do when I work on them. Now if you don't feel comfortable working a mower since you can be down by the blade, just don't do it. Um, but for the people that do feel comfortable, I usually unplug the spark plug. Now you have your muffler, got your carburetor, got your gas tank. When you turn that mower over, you can turn it over to the muffler side. And the reason is that, because if you turn it over to the uh, carburetor side, oil will leak out. It'll leak out of that, that side and it'll be hard to crank. And when it does crank, you finally do get it cranked up, it's gonna start uh, smoking real bad. So we'll, take, we'll flip it real quick. Now that's self-propelled. Action's all here in the front on this one. Front self-propelled. And when we come down here and look, there's gonna be a couple screw holes. And there's gonna be some that you do not want to take off. This one, do not take it off. That one down there, do not take it off. And the three on the inside, don't take it off. Because that's what holds this whole front piece on. Okay? Now you have, you have a screw there. One right in, right in there, right in there. And same spot on the downside. You wanna take those off there. Flip them all back over. One right there. And one right there. Those are all three eighths. And after you do that, you gotta get this guy, make sure it's not on one of those knobs. Make sure it's in the middle somewhere. You're just gonna take it in. Yank up hard, and it'll come right off. All right. So here's what we're looking at. So the belt gets thrown off. And you can see it has guys that help to keep the belt on and it's just really what it comes down to a, a poor design it doesn't really just hang on real well and as the belt gets older more likelihood of it just not staying on well and so basically at this point you're just gonna throw it back through and get the belt right back on there just like that turn it whatever you can just to get it on there And it's a little harder to do when you're trying to do it with one hand. There we go. Turn it, turn it, turn it. There we go. And if they had it where it was a little tighter, that would be nice. But kind of get it in there. And see these little guides right there are supposed to keep it on there. And they, they do okay job. But if you ever hit something hard, something you didn't pick up out the yard, it'll throw that belt every single time. And all you gotta do when you put everything back, just repeat the process. Yeah, we'll leave that off for now. I use a drill just to make the process a little easier. If I get some more YouTube likes and subscribes, I could afford somebody to hold the camera. Wouldn't that be nice? Right now, I'm a one-man show. Okay, so those two are in there. Flip it over. Remember, always flip it over to the muffler. That's the big goal, big trick there. I forgot, you have one right there. That's the one most people are gonna feel uncomfortable with because you're right beside them blades. You know, everyone always sees or hears about people getting injured touching the blades because they suck right. I don't know if that's possible or not. We're not going to try it. Well, that's not going in now, is it? Oh, I see it. Crap the metal. If I got the wrong size. Here we 
we go. They get a little friendly with it. Same thing down here. I can see it right there. Well, I'll get that one in a minute, but that's pretty much all you have to do. I'm gonna take two hands to get that one in, because I gotta push the guard down a little. All right, guys, thank you. Subscribe and like. Well, I got that last bolt in. Now let's give it a good crank up and see if we got it fixed. Here we go.